there are few global variables in solidity that are available by default and few of them will be using a lot in our tutorial so let's start so first we have is message.sender and uh, you can access this variable with message dot sender like this and let's store the result basically it will send us the result of the caller who is calling uh, the contract or the function inside the contract so you can do address and set it to public and let's set the variable name to owner like this now this will give us the address of the caller who is calling this contract or the function the second is message dot data so this will give us the message data that we are sending when we are calling the function inside the contract so you can do bytes public message data message dot data there are few more global functions which are related to the blockchain information for example you can access the block number so you can do block dot number so the return type is uint so you can do uint public and block number and there is one more you can also access the block hash so you can do block hash and then give the uh, block number for which you want to access the hash let's do bytes 32 public block hash so in avm it will keep track of the latest 256 blocks and you might receive like uh, zero block hash in most of the cases if you're not giving the right block number and the next is uh, coinbase so do block dot coinbase so this will give us the address of the miner who has mined the recent block so you can do address public and do coinbase so this is the address of the miner this is just for you to know that these functions are there if in case you may need to use it in future so it's uh, good to know about these features and there is another one block dot gas limit so this will return the gas limit so it is of type uint public gas limit And then we have uh, the timestamp block dot timestamp. So this will give you the timestamp of the current block, and it is of uint to public and to block time. All right, and then we have uh, gas left. So you can directly call it with gas left. So this will give you the remaining gas that you have. So do you int public gas left. And the next is EX origin. You might not be using this a lot, but it is good to know origin that we have something like transaction origin. So let's do address public and to original caller so this one is important to know so for example we have nested calls inside the contract because when for example you are calling this function and that function is calling some other contract inside it so tx origin will give you the original caller who had called or originated the call so that's the reason you can access it with tx dot origin so these are all the functions that we have so let's deploy this contract so sometimes you may see this kind of error you can just refresh the page and then you will be able to deploy the contract i don't know the exact reason but uh, it does happen so let's redeploy it and you can see we have not changed anything but now it was deployed 
all right so let's see the original caller so in our case it will be the same so this address is coming from here who is the caller who called this contact and this is the address so you can see it it is matching with ending with dc4 and this is what it has returned dc4 let's remove it from here and then the owner so owner is again it will give you the same because right now we are not doing any nested call so that's the reason message dot data sorry message dot sender and uh, tx dot origin is the same address then message dot data is something when you are calling the function and you are sending some values along with that but right now we are not sending anything so that's the reason it is not returning anything so gas left it is giving you the remaining gas that you have and gas limit then the coinbase transaction uh, it is returning the address of the miner who has mined the block and then the current block time block number yeah so because this is running on the local chain so you might not get the exact block number but when you deploy it on the production chain then you will get the right values same goes for block hash so it is uh, giving the zero but if you know the exact block that you want to access so you will get uh, you will get the exact values so that's pretty much about the solidity global variables it is important to know you may need to use it uh, for some temporary calculations inside your uh, smart contract don't worry about this line right here so this line is from my previous tutorials where i was explaining about the constant and immutable it has no relation with the, this what we just discussed so you can remove this from here 